full bloom, the sun out shining brightly. <laughs> and you can just visualize <laughs> what that would have looked like had you seen that video. I could have shown you a did picture of my garden. Well, though? You did. Okay. Really? As long as, long as we got that done. You know, the oh, problem, oh, ever. look, is. is now those are petunias. Is that your garden? No, it's not. But here's the deal. Petunias will begin to fade because those temperatures are climbing into the mid 80s. I'm mm -hmm. just saying they don't they don't really like the heat. Summer's getting here. It, it, it's the record high for today, 90. Oh and you know, this is the time of the year when you can have severe weather. So let me show you what's happening. It's April and May that you're more likely to have the severe weather, but right now, big outbreak taking place Kentucky into the Midwest and then look at how you've got that severe thunderstorm watch as well into Texas where there's a slight risk for severe storms enhanced risk as you go over towards Kentucky and wouldn't you know it that's where my son is right now look at this weather that's breaking out long track tornadoes are occurring there meanwhile into Texas we're looking at this in 3D that's some heavy rain coming down a lot of hail reports and those strong winds 60 two miles per hour. We're not expecting anything like this. We do have a cold front that's moving through Friday with the potential for some storms, but nothing like the severe weather that we're seeing elsewhere. So it looks great outside right now. We've had some high clouds move in. High pressure to the east. You've got that onshore flow. The humidity is going up and because of it, we will have some fog in the morning hours and an isolated shower is certainly possible tomorrow. We're going to be back in the mid 80s. Then you can look at your Thursday. We're in the mid 80s, a slightly better chance of rain, 20% chance. But here comes the cold front. It's going to be pushing through on Friday. Your high temperatures in the low to the mid 80s, the potential that you could have a thunderstorm. So the weather is warm. Check the back seat. Don't leave anybody in that back seat. Morning fog is going to be a concern. And then the cold front Friday. But wait, what a beautiful view. Looking good. Wayne Brunio sent in that twit pic. Thank Thanks so much. And Sean, the mailman over in Lakeview, he says, hi, everybody, he says the mail is getting hot. He's got his fan. He needs to turn it on. Then we can say, look up. Nola Spice Design says clouds beginning to move in. So the morning lows from the mid 60s to the low 70s. It was 72 at the airport. High temperature 86, just above that average. Temperatures right now generally in the low to the mid 80s. You've got some upper 70s right there on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. South wind sending in all of that humidity. And I have heat indexes right now right there in the mid 80s a little bit closer to the coast it's not as bad but it's definitely warm so as you look at the forecast nine o'clock still mid 70s that fog in the morning as the wind dies down especially north shore in the mississippi gulf coast low temperatures upper 60s to the low 70s and then high temperatures tomorrow mid 80s i think you'll be okay for wednesday at the square with marsha ball and flow tribe. So much fun. Here is a look at that forecast. Three in the afternoon, about 85 degrees. Slight chance of rain for Thursday. 40% for your Friday. But hey, the great news is over the weekend, lower humidity, still warm, but cool mornings. Pretty perfect weather. Enjoy it because, Scott, like you said, the heat's going to be here soon. Yep.